Overnight storms brought some strong winds to mid-Missouri, which has left hundreds of people without power this morning. Down trees also caused problems for the morning commute. ABC 17's Joshua Blount is live in Hallsville this morning, where a tree and a power line were brought down last night. And Josh, that wasn't the only area with some issues. Erica, good morning. Yes, several other areas are also without power this without power today. Now, at last check, the Ameren outage map showed that a little less than 500 people are without power in the lake, around the lake of the Ozark and Osage Beach area. And the Association of Missouri Electric Cooperatives state map showed that 284 people are without power in Camden County and almost 700 people are without power in Pulaski County. Now, on your screen, you can see the damage caused here in Hallsville on Missouri Highway 20, 124. Excuse me. A vehicle was caught in the road due to a tree that fell but didn't appear to be damaged. Also, a power line was damaged. The area of Highway 124 in front of, the, in front of Hallsville Intermediate School was blocked off by Hallsville Police for a little over two hours and reopened around 8 this morning. And Erica, if we look behind me here, Emron has moved that tree and that vehicle out the road, but they are still working to get that power line up there fully repaired. Reporting live from Hallsville, Joshua Blount, ABC 17 News. Thanks so much for that report this morning, Josh. And those same storms brought tornadoes and widespread damage into Texas and Oklahoma overnight.